Shalom. Shalom. First, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. Ba'ashem Rechah Kodash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. And peace and blessings to the elect. Um, yeah, basically, you know, we're just going to do a, you know, a thinking out loud uh, session. All right, whatever precepts come to mind. All right, we'll bring it out through the spirit, man. But, you know, as we're, uh, you know, running a few errands, all right, we're noticing how, you know, things are looking outside. You know, you got these police officers everywhere. You know, you got uh, streets blocked off and, you know, all this extra stuff, okay, which is a, a method that they're using, all right, to desensitize the people, to get used to that, that police thing, okay, to get used to the restrictions being taken away from you, to where you, you start to even forget what normality look like, uh, what normality actually, feels like. People getting used to restrictions being put on them. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because right now, uh, you know, you're looking at every, basically every aspect of life is being policed right now. You know what I'm saying? Um, they did say that there was Corona a week and a half, two weeks, three weeks ago, whatever. I right, for three months, the whole, you know, the whole entire globe was shut down, and all of a sudden, there's protests and riots around the whole entire globe. All right, it's not just a one thing. So that that goes to show you that. What we've been telling you and what the scripture's been saying, according to prophecy, is all happening right now, man, in this lifetime. All right, because it, most of the time when the Lord says something about what he's going to do, he talks about what? The world. You know, it says, woe to the world and ye that dwell in them. All right, woe to the world and ye that dwell therein. You know what I'm saying? You go into the book of Revelation, it says that. You go into the book of Second Ezra, it talks about that. All right, so the world is talking, not just talking about the nation of Israel, but the whole entire earth as in the world as itself. All right, and we're looking at things happening. You know, like I said, you had this whole Corona thing, all right, this whole hoax, all right, and they, they use that to establish fear, all right, in the people, and to also cause uh, confusion, to cause uh, separation, to cause frustration, okay? And now they've, they've, they've garnered that, that, that spirit, and now they've let people out, and now people are doing whatever they want, okay? So now, guess what's gonna happen? They're gonna come back and talk about how, you know, because of the Rona, you about, you about to have uh, more restrictions on you, man. We're gonna have to force to give you that vaccine because you you guys don't know how to act. You know what I'm saying? You're looking outside right now, it's like people people completely living like they forgot that there was something that was, you know, happening in lockdown, you know, for the past three months. You know, people outside, you know, in groups, they're not even so-called so social distancing like they were enforcing for so long. Nobody's doing that no more. You know, everybody's chilling, everybody living life. You know, you got people wearing masks, you got people who are not wearing masks, you know? People are just chilling, doing whatever. It's like a regular day. You know what I'm saying? But three three months ago, no, not a single soul will be seen outside. If you're not an essential worker, we didn't see you outside, man. You know what I'm saying? So people are being treated like animals, like kids. Uh, here it is, uh, uh, de Blasio in New York, de Blasio just said uh, uh, yesterday that the curfew you know, was 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 off, effective by today, man. Today being Sunday, all right. So the curfew that we had, all right, for it lasts about two, three days or whatever. Now it's off, okay. And what did he say? He said New York, they 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 were on a good behavior. Basically, he said, oh, you know, you guys were on a good behavior, so we taking off the the uh, the, the the curfew, man. You know, I said, what, what 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 is all this, man? It's like a game. They playing with you, man. You know what I'm saying? You got something to say? Gun, gun. Um, I got a precept here because you gotta understand, like like the brother said. It's all it's all mind control, mind games, mm -hmm. all right. That they like to get inside your head and 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 um, take you from being um, you know independent into making you subjective. You know, first they 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 force it upon you, and then they do it so much to the point where now you become dependent on them. All right, you rely on them, okay, to to uh, uh, to give to give to you and to take away from you, mm -hmm. okay, as they're doing right now. So they're getting people used to that that state because soon. You get used to police being on every street, police being on every corner, helicopters flying above you, barricades here, you know, things like that. And then slowly but surely, the police start disappearing and then you're seeing troops and military personnel, you know? And next thing you know, it's little by little through gradualism, they've taken away all your freedoms and the things you're used to and they've, they've replaced it with a, a, a controlled a, a, a police thing, all right? And that's ultimately from these, from these higher ups. They knew that in order to get these people out the house, without them being overly cautious about the coronavirus so we can have an excuse to bring a second wave cause a commotion that's gonna cause people to say you know what override the coronavirus right now we got a bigger problem to worry about all right and that's this whole uh, drama with the uh, black lives matter situation all right it's it's, it's it's people are saying this is a racism and the, the problem with the system and all this is a bigger issue than the virus 
So it doesn't matter, we're gonna be out here. All right, now this is Ephesians 6 and 10. It says, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. Now, who, who is Paul's brethren? Okay, Ulti really is the elect, all right, that he's speaking to, okay? Ultimately, because Paul's an Israelite, not, but it's really the elect, because the elect are the only ones who are gonna be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might, all right? We understand that it's not up to how many uh, uh, protests or how many people are standing with you or how much money you donate to uh, 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 a cause of uh, uh, defunding the police or whatever you want to call it. Okay, that's not going to change anything. We trust in the, in the power and the might of the Lord. It says, put on the whole armor of the Most High that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. All right, and the whole armor of the Most High also goes into the, 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 the helmet. All right, getting your mind right. Because the devil, the ma uh, majority of the devil's games are deception, all right, mind games. Because he knows if he can chain and shackle up your mind, he can get you to do whatever he wants, okay? So it says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places, all right? Those are our enemies, man. Not what you're seeing on the outside, but behind the scenes. They're the ones pulling the strings and controlling you like puppets, man. If they can control your perception, they can control your actions because you act based you act based on what you perceive. All right. It says, "Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of the Most High, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day." All right. And having done all to stand, stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, because a shield is, is uh, it protects you against incoming attacks, incoming damage, and their and their attacks are these different philosophies, these different beliefs, the influence, as it tells you that she made the world drunk with, with her philosophies, fornication. her fornication. Guess what? That's what they're trying to shoot at the elect, man. Okay, as the scriptures say, they they shoot at the perfect. Okay, so we're using our faith to block all those things off, because when your faith is strong in your in your belief. Those different influences are not going to affect you. So it says, Wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is this word. Oh, oh damn, that's the spirit. <laughs> the next sentence says, Which is the word of the Most High. Okay? Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit, and watching uh, thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. So watch. You got to be circumspect, man. You can't just be so quick to jump into the uh, uh, the heat of the um, the heat of the moment, okay? Because everybody's doing it. Because it seems like oh, you're gonna be ostracized or ridiculed for not doing it. No, be circumspect. All right. That means you step back, you examine the whole matter, okay? Hear the whole matter. Hear the conclusion of the whole matter before you you uh, you jump into anything, man. Okay. But they got these people trained to be just like zombies. Uh, okay. Uh, yep. And they. In these times, man, this is not the time to be uh, following the crowd, man. Scriptures say what? Following out the, uh, following out the multitude to the, deal, to the evil, yeah, you know? And a lot of our people, you know, we just, we, like I said, we outside. And the things that you're seeing is just like, yeah, these people do they, they, knew, they do need to get destroyed because they look like they're gone. You know, I was talking to one of my uh, former co-workers and I was telling them, I was like, yo, remember like three, four years ago, I was telling y'all niggas that this was going to happen. And yes, they are niggas, you know? I said, yo, I was telling y'all niggas this was going to happen. And, you know, I ain't, I ain't hear no reply. They saw the message, but I ain't hear no reply. I think today or yesterday I got a reply where he said, he said, yo, yo, bro, shut the fuck up. This is not the time for this. You know, he, he, they all, you know, fucked up in the mind about this shit, you know? And I read it and I just laughed because I'm like, y'all don't even know what's coming. You know, y'all don't even know what's coming. And if y'all did, you, you, I don't know what you'd be doing. You know what I'm saying? But you just reserve for judgment. You know what I'm saying? They're not, they're not doing what Ephesians just told us to do. They're not armoring themselves with the word of the Most High. Right. They don't even know the Most High. Mm -hmm. And they shun the men who, sh who, try to, who try to introduce them to the Most High, man. You know what I'm saying? So we're doing our job. You know, it's like uh, the, the example we gave mom yesterday uh, about how, you know, we just out here doing our job. Basically, the Lord has given the, uh, the, the, um, the verdict and we just got to go out there and give them the word. Right, right, right. Look. Don't you can't tell us about how oh you gotta stop talking about how America's gonna get destroyed. Why are you so negative? Why are you always talking about how bad things are about to happen? Well, that's what's that's what's coming. You know, it's like you doing the wrong thing, and then somebody tells you, yo, bro, what you're doing is gonna lead to this, this, and then the third. You're like, nah, bro, why you always be negative? Nigga, because you're always doing negative shit. Mm -hmm. You know, you're always doing negative shit, and that's the two-thirds of our people, man. 
and Esau has you all fucked up because guess what? They got they got the system right now. They got it set up where everybody is enjoying that right now we we approaching that time of that peace and safety man you know what i'm saying because now everybody's gonna come outside enjoying the summertime you know enjoying the sweet uh, uh weather everything like that and then esau gonna come in and be like boom corona uh 2.0 yep. you know and this time is is, is worse because they keep dark you know, winter right dark winter they keep telling people they keep telling people uh uh, uh and, hey script that's why how should i said uh, pray that your flight not be in the winter because look them troops is coming out all right, the mercenaries, they're gonna set them out and they're, going, they're not gonna come out here to try to uh, make peace with you. You're not gonna see them dancing to TikTok Yeah, like, they, like these national no, guard troops. No, that's not happening, bro. This time they're gonna, they're gonna say, look, bro, a lot of people went out, a lot of people still going out, and you, you have you have these parties that's happening, you got people chilling, you know, oh, well, we don't have the virus, so this and that. First of all, all that stuff that's happening, guess what? They are tracking you. They let you entrap yourself because they, they allowed you to go out there. So now they have an excuse, a reason to say, if you don't want to take the vaccine willingly, we can come and uh, grab you up, okay, and, and forcefully take you to somewhere or, or vaccinate you. Why? Because of the fact that you uh, were out here, okay, and amidst all these people, the chances of you getting the virus is extremely high. Right. Okay, right. so you have no excuse. Hey, Cuomo came out and said, "What he said? Just if you're already outside protesting, just assume you assume got it. Assume you got it. You know, it's like, what kind of virus is this? Mm -hmm. And apparently, you got doctors who are coming out, especially it happened in Italy. You got doctors coming out saying this is a bacteria. It's a bacteria that when you get, especially they were doing autopsies and stuff. They were looking at these dead bodies, you know, cutting them open, looking inside of them, and they said there was uh, blood clots, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, the first thing that came to mind is, well, what if they when they die?" They inject them with some type of uh, some type of serum or whatever that makes the blood look like that to deceive people to make them think that oh it's actually blood clots because this thing has a mortality rate of less than one percent, mm -hmm. you know, less than one percent. And what they did was to to make that to make people think that this is actually something uh, to worry about. They all the diseases and all the uh, normal deaths that happens in, in in our regular lives that we don't really think about, like people dying from diabetes, people dying from cancer, uh, uh, um, you know, the regular flu, whatever it might be. They just said, look, man, if you notice, people ain't dying from all these things no more. Everyone is dying from Corona now. For the past three, four months, it was always about Corona. You know why? Because the regular uh, diseases that's killing people, the regular sicknesses that's killing people, including the flu, all right? They said, nah, if somebody dies, they come to the hospital and they declare dead, Say, say Rona killed him. All right, so now the numbers are looking crazy. My mom was saying, she was like, it even makes no sense to have 800 assigned people die in one day. Mm. Off of whatever, whatever disease it could be, man, there's no way you could have, and just in New York alone, in New York alone, you had 800 assigned people die in one day. And you never see the bodies, you never hear about nothing like that. You never talk about the, the, the family members. It's like, it just disappears. They just give you numbers and that's it. You gotta believe it. You know, you did no proof, none of that. They just say, oh, this is what happened. And that's it, just take it as it is. You know, but as we sitting over here, we're like, nah, man, this stuff, this stuff makes no sense. It's not adding up. It's not adding up, man. This, the shit makes no sense because if it did, and it was as crazy as they say it was, why did you lock everybody down for three months and then all of a sudden people is outside and you're not enforcing the same rules? No precautions. No precautions. There's no enforcement of the of the six feet apart. You know, all that. You know, the the rhetoric. Mm -hmm. the, oh, social distancing. It's not really about. It's not. It's not about social distancing. You, if you really wanted people to distance themselves, you should have said physical distancing. That's what makes sense. But you said social distancing. Why? Because they wanted to have people apart from each other. And now look what's happening. You have riots and you have protests and you have people fighting each other, man. So for three months there was no social uh, vibes. Activity. Exactly. And you three months. Exactly. Three months is good enough for somebody to depart from somebody, man. You know, like your coworkers or whatever. You don't talk to them for three months. You don't see them for three months, and everybody's in that, you know, uptight lifestyle when you come outside you're gonna you know you're gonna be roused up a little bit every little thing is gonna take you off and that's what that's what we're seeing it went from a regular protest of somebody who died okay to now people are just rioting man mm -hmm. and it's well, all now, well, now, now they're calming down with it and that's why they're, they're, they're saying they're removed because they set it up mm -hmm. you know to give you that sense of peace and safety that right. sense of calm right you know they first protest looting this is mm -hmm. insane trump is about to declare the uh, uh martial law fully right, and sending right, them troops right, right and then 
they pull back. Mm -hmm. They slow it down. Mm -hmm. Trump is now taking the troops back. Mm -hmm. You know, that everything is got it's calming down. Mm -hmm. Now we're in the, the reopening phases of the states. Right. You know, right. everything's right. going back to normal. Right. So now everybody's calming down, forgetting that you're only a couple of months away from the fall. Mm -hmm. You're only a couple of months away from the virus. And now don't be surprised if they keep the numbers low, low, low. And right before you get to the fall, boom, they start mm -hmm. spiking up. Mm -hmm. And their justification is, remember those riots you guys were doing? Right. We try to warn you because you got Fauci. They, they, that's why they purposely had Fauci say, "Oh, I, I was looking at it and it was scary to me mm -hmm. the fact that uh, 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 all these people were together in this one area." Right. But then people brush it off as, "Oh, he's just racist or he doesn't mm -hmm. care about about uh, uh, um, these people dying in this uh, 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 systematic error." Right. You know, that's your justification. Now I got a precept. Mm -hmm. This is First Thessalonians chapter five, verse one. Mm -hmm. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. Okay, because we know what time it is. Why do you think we're not out there protesting with them? We we are smarter than this, man. The scriptures say the children of this world are in their generation wiser than the children of light. Okay, because Jake, uh, Israelites, all right, we are bright people. We are very intellectual, very smart. But our people have been dumbed down to the point where they make the basis of men, Esau, look like an intellectual because of how easily they're manipulated by him. However, he can't get us. Okay, so that's why and this is apply this is applying to us because they can't get us with that deception. All right, God. it says, For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. So we understand that the, when the time of the Lord, the Lord's return comes, people are not gonna expect it. All right, you don't ex when a thief comes, he comes when you least expect it. All right, for when they shall say peace and safety. The economy's open back up. You can go back to these different places. Things are calming down. And they're starting to look like it's going back to normal. That's when you get hit. Boom. And, and this time it won't stop. It says, um, then sudden destruction cometh upon them. You know, that second wave take them, takes them by surprise. Or whatever means the Lord uses to catch them. Takes them by surprise. Mm -hmm. It says, uh, cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child. And they shall not escape. Okay. There's going to be no escape, man. All right, you you going you going you going man, you people are gonna get got, okay? It says, um, but ye brethren are not in darkness that that day should overtake you as a thief, okay? So we are not in that in that position, okay? Of of getting gotten uh, uh, like the majority of these people, man, okay? Huh? Yeah, I mean you can, you can park yeah, anywhere yeah, around, yeah, you can yeah, finish yeah, finish the video real quick. Yeah. All right, we're not we're not in that position for for um yeah. Yeah, uh, we're not in that position, all right, to get overtaken like these people, man. We know what time it is, man. Like, like when Yahweh Shai warned our people back during the time, uh, 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 thousands of years ago, before the the Romans uh, pulled up and besieged Jerusalem, he told them, when you see the Romans, run. Right. So we we're smart, man. We those people who fled when Yahweh Shai warned them, they did not get caught up, mm -hmm. okay, because they were on the alert. Yo, okay. Oh shoot, they're here. Gone. That's no, it. no chances taken. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're doing, man. Hey, the Lord said, in those days, be be ye even as pilgrims upon the earth. Mm. Okay. So sure. when the, when these things kick off, man, we're gonna be in that in that mindset of 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 like, yo, if we got a dip, we dipping. You know, we're not we're not worried about these. No, no, no. The Lord is gonna take care of us. All He said was, if you got a dip, dip. That's it. Because once you have attachments to this place, you're gonna get caught up. You're gonna end up like Lot's wife. Mm -hmm. You're gonna turn around. You're gonna get caught up, and the most is gonna catch you. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna get caught up in the judgment of the two thirds, man. Mm -hmm. All right, because mm -hmm. I did a video a while back how the elect will not get caught up in the judgment of the two thirds, because the elect are gonna move according to the spirit of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. And also, uh, you got a lot of people are gonna get caught up too, because right now they, they're in the spirit of, oh, we we just went through a pandemic, we just went through a whole bunch of riots and whatever is coming throughout the summer. Now it's time to rebuild, make America great again. Let's reconstruct like the, that, that poster that we just saw. Mm -hmm. There was a lady who was, you know, her story, she was like, next time we should elect a president who's going to be uh, all about, you know, reconstructing and reuniting the nation again. You know, so people are going to be in that spirit of, you know, peace and safety. Life is getting back to normal. Everything is getting better again. You know, we're going to work together as one people and bring things back to how it was. No, that the new world order is already here. The Esau already got what he wanted. Mm -hmm. All right. But now that's how you know we're really at the end because scriptures say, well, when he's about him, when he's about to fill his mm -hmm. belly, man, meaning what? He's about to start taking draconian measures. He's going to start uh, vaccinating people. And when he starts getting to that point where he's chipping people and thinking that he got it, boom, there's going to be sudden destruction, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? People are going to be with it because they're going to influence and, 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 and have through the media. All right. They're going to perform certain miracles because the media is very powerful, man. It could make you look good or bad. All right. They could demonize you or they could make you look like a god or using the media, man. Yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? So they're gonna use the media to influence people's mindsets and perception, all right, of this false reality that we're living in, and they're gonna forget all about being spiritual, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And they're gonna be incited to, right, you know what, let me just take that chip because I don't want this pandemic to happen again. This is the best thing we have to do for our people. This is the best thing we gotta do so we could come back together. You know, all this extra shit. You know, let's avoid a future uh, pandemic like this. Let's take that vaccine, let's take that chip. You know what I'm saying? But little did you know, once you take that chip, you sign yourself off to the devil, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So people are about to get caught up bad, man. You're not even paying attention to what's happening in the Middle East, all right? Because the tension is brewing up over there too, man. Mm -hmm. All right? So we're looking at prophecies from all angles, man. Not just here, but around the world as well, because that's what we're meant to do. Right. Be watchmen. Right. Okay? And Israel is scattered all throughout all four corners of the earth. So we use this word to warn our people, to let them know this is what's coming. All right, we know who we are, we know who the devil is, and the devil knows who we are, the devil knows who he is. Mm -hmm. So at this point, there's no hiding. He's just coming out and doing whatever he gotta do, okay? We're looking at police police and helicopters flying everywhere like it's, it's something that's normal. But people are not paying attention to that because they're tired of staying home, so this is nothing to them. Mm -hmm. Like, look, as long as I could go outside, as long as things open back up a little bit, I'm okay. Because they took everything away from you, so you just take whatever they give you. Mm -hmm. And what they're gonna say is, if you comply, you get this. If you don't comply, we take this away from you. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. They're gonna use fear and desperation to get you people to be in that submission spot for them, man. And once you people are in there, don't beg to the Most High, because He's not gonna deliver you. All right? Because when the time came, guess what? You didn't seek the Most High, you turned them down. Yep. Okay. So I know I got a precept on this, and we close it off on this. Mm -hmm. This is Ecclesiastes chapter two, verse ten. Look at the generations of old and see. Did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Mm. Or and why do you think when people come up, when they come up with all their different arguments, they can never uh, 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 confound us? Because we speak with the spirit of the Lord, man. Right. And not only in just in just speaking, but in your in your actions and the way you move. Mm -hmm. It says, or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Mm -hmm. All right. That's why you have the accounts and the testimonies written, so we can read it and we can learn from it. That we through a uh, uh, comfort, patience of the. Uh, Roughly paraphrasing, us knowing the scriptures is going to comfort us. Right. Okay. It says, or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? Right. Us through comfort might have faith. Yep, I mean, exactly. Through, through know, yeah. Comfort, yeah. You know, so, hope, yeah. You know? So guess what? All those different accounts is to build our faith. So we know when the time comes, yes, the Lord told us to trust in him, not take the chip. But you might think, well, carnally, there's no, that's not even a reasonable thing to do. But guess what? All those people that trusted in the Lord, not one of them did the Lord forsake. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Especially, and, and those people are back here again today. Mm -hmm. And now that we need him more than ever, he ain't going to disappear on us, man. Okay. The most High is going to pull through because that's how he always comes through. Clutch. You know? So, hey, when the time comes, man, don't fear it. Okay. Remember, use your faith to provoke miracles. Mm -hmm. All right. You can end up in a dead end, but don't think of it as the end. Think of it as, OK, I'm in a dead end. There's no other way but divine intervention if I'm going to get out of this. All right. Just like during the time of Exodus, we all got to the Red Sea, you know, what I'm saying? Right, right. and there was nowhere else to go. Right. Everybody was like losing faith. Like, damn, even Moses was like, oh, father, why, why you got look at all these people? They're they going to get us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He said, just just keep going. Just go. He said, all right, point your rod and just walk through. Mm -hmm. And that's what happened. Okay. And the Most High created a path for us to walk through. And then, boom, the, the whole the Egyptian army just got fucked up throughout, throughout the, 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 the flood coming back to him, man. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So we have faith in that. We've seen him do it time and time and time again. Mm -hmm. We've read it time and time again. Romans 15 and 4 says what? Uh, uh, the war time was ready for our learning. That's it. So we've learned about the power that we serve. We understand the power that we serve. And you know what? Through the spirit and power of the Most High, guess what? Through, through, really, through the Rakakodash, he's made himself familiar with us. Right. How do we know that? When we pray, he answers our prayers, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We feel real close to the Most High, especially in these last days. All right? Like, he's making things happen. Like, he said, these are things that are going to happen in the last days. We talked about it. We had faith that was going to happen. And now we're seeing it happen, man. Mm -hmm. So, if anything, it's boosting our, our spirit even more. Right. You know, it's boosting our spirit even more. So, we have nothing to worry about. Again, like we always say, this is a movie of the Most High. He's not going to make his main characters just pass on just like nothing happened. No. This is about us. It's about the elect. Mm -hmm. All right? It's always been about the elect, man. You know what I'm saying? Because we're the ones who do what is pleasing unto him. Right. All right? So he's not going to do away with the elect. No. The reason why this whole story is done is to show his power of how he delivered the elect from the times that were coming in. That's right. All right? So we already we already got the victory. Like the, uh, the elder brother, Yashua always says, we already got the victory, man. We're already in the kingdom watching the movie saying, damn, this is the time. This is the part where, you know, we really get into the hot, the hot zone, you know, the climax of the movie. You know, we're watching it. So we've already passed all this, man. We've seen this happen. It's already written off. It's already done, bro. Come on. You know what I'm saying? So what is there to fear? Mm -hmm. What is there to fear? Nothing but the Most High, man. He's going to take us through this thing. All right? So, hey, man.
pretty much it. That's All right, it. you know, I just wanted to do that quick video, man. Just mm -hmm. constantly trying to stay in the spirit as best as you can. Being that we have this great spirit within the great spirit, use that to build yourself up. Because when the, when the time comes, the Lord is just letting everything loose, man. And you gotta, you're gonna be with what you got. Mm -hmm. All right. So with that, we hope this was edifying unto the elect. We want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rechak Kodesh. Until next time, Shalom.